you're watching Gears. Brought to you by Holly Performance Products. Fuel your passion. And Cornwell Tools, the choice of professionals. You know, one question that we get a lot is, how do I maintain a vehicle that's been fully restored or built from the ground up? And this is a big issue. So big, in fact, that a lot of people don't want to mess with it. So they just sell the vehicle while it's still in really good shape. That's why you have so many vehicles going to auction these days, because people want to get rid of them when they're like brand new. And there is nothing wrong with that. But if you get your vehicle at an auction or from the local hot rodder or from your Aunt May or Uncle John, the fact is you're going to have to deal with some maintenance and upkeep. And it doesn't matter if it's a high-end show vehicle or a nice restoration or heck, just an old beater. At this point, they all have one thing in common. They're all just old vehicles in need of maintenance. And a lot of people don't want to talk about that. The fact that all these high dollar fancy parts that you're putting on today will eventually need to be upgraded or restored down the road if you keep the vehicle long enough. So the real question is, what do you keep? What do you change? What do you upgrade? And what is it better to not mess with at all? That's what we're gonna look at today. Now, the first thing that you have to decide are what exactly are the boundaries on the vehicle. For example, this looks like it's a very rare, very expensive 68 Z28 Camaro. And if that's the case, you got to be really careful what you take off this thing and what you put on, because part of its value is in its originality. Fortunately, if you look a little closer, you can tell this is not an original Z28. This is a clone. So you have a lot more leeway about what you can put on, what you can take off a vehicle like this. This is why people build clones, so they can modify them the way they want. On the other hand, you have vehicles like Copperhead. Now this represents all the high-end builds and the show vehicles and the race cars that you can buy at auction. Now these usually have a high collector value and they're usually loaded with all kinds of unique one-off parts that make them more valuable, yeah. So you wanna make sure that you don't take any of that stuff off when you're working on them. So we're gonna show you how to do that as we do some much needed maintenance on Copperhead to get it ready for the Grand National Roadster Show. Okay, the first thing that you wanna start with is the most obvious and that is general maintenance. I'm talking oil changes, spark plugs, cooling, hoses, that kind of thing. And this is important whether you got the vehicle at an auction or pulled it out of a barn or got it from somebody's collection, whatever, because you don't know how long the vehicle's been sitting and you don't know when the maintenance was last done. So we're gonna start by draining the oil and getting that changed. <laughs> 